Hi, welcome to my third video. Um, I'm going to show you some of the papers that I use um, and some of the tools that I use for coloured pencil. Um, again, one of the mediums that I use um, and I'm just going to continue on from my other videos. Um, so um, I started off using um, Dealer Rowney. Uh, it's like an off-white colour, their cartridge paper and I really like that and I also have used Stonehenge but I don't have any of those left to show you. So. At the moment I'm using um, some paper by Strathmore. I'm not sure, I think that's an American brand, but somebody can correct me if I'm wrong. Anyway, this is their Bristol Vellum Surface paper and this is their Smooth Surface. And they're both really nice for working on coloured pencil. There's a bit of a tooth to the vellum, I find anyway. Um, but the Smooth paper is definitely, it's kind of similar um, to the touch uh, to um, hot pressed um, watercolour paper for example and those are both quite nice to use um, for coloured pencil and also um, as I mentioned in my last video I like to use black paper especially with um, Derwent's um, drawing range and I'll just do some quick marks I mean this is not a technique video so just so that you can see how it shows up really well against the black paper and it's a really thick lead um, so you get a lovely mark this is their brown ochre and the white. A lot of artists really love Derwent drawing white and they'll use that above any other meg. Now you do get a bit of texture. This is, this is actually black pastel paper and again I prefer to use cartridge paper which has a smoother surface so there's less of the texture showing through. But it just depends on what, on what you want really. But anyway, just so that you can see how, how um, bright that is against the, the black paper. This is Derwent Colour Soft. This is their Lichen Green. Their Colour Soft is also quite nice against um, black paper. I'm just going to show you a pink colour to see if it... Yeah, so black paper is definitely something to consider. You just get a different effect from it. So some of the other tools that I use. Um, a sharpener is really important for a colour pencil artist, um, especially if you're doing lots and lots of layers. And I tend to work with sharp points most of the time because you need that if, you're, if you want detail um, and to do lots of blending. Um, so yes, I use hand sharpeners, but I really would be lost without my Jagger um, electric sharpener. So I don't know if you can see this here. So I'm going to try and, and show you. This is um, a Faber-Castell and I'll just show you how it works. And look at the point. Can you, I don't know if you can see that, but the point that you get on that, it's really um, pretty good. And these pencils um, are very good at keeping that point. And then as you, as you work and you rotate it round, you kind of keep moving the pencil so you get to a sharper edge again. And then you sharpen it again. Now, um, these are battery operated, so they say that you, should, you shouldn't sharpen any more than about eight or nine at a go and then you should put a graphite pencil through it because that graphite is a natural lubricant and that um, keeps the blades in good condition. So that's worth um, remembering. I also have this battery operated one by Derwent. Um, I can't actually remember it. The batteries are, in the, it takes quite a lot of batteries actually. Um, and my kids use this a lot, so I'm not gonna actually um, show you that today because I think the battery's a bit low. But you just lift this container like that and you can kind of maybe see the blade in there, I'm not sure. Um, and again, the Jagger one, you just lift the container like that, throw the shavings away in the bin and then replace it. And it's really handy. Um, but some of the thicker pencils um, don't fit in there. I'm not sure that the, that the Derwent drawing does. I think, yeah, it doesn't fit. So because this is one of your thicker pencils. So that's worth um, taking into consideration if you're thinking about buying one of those. So just to end with then, um, some of the other tools that I might use. A brush to keep my surface clean when I've, if I'm doing something and there's shavings or rubbings, whatever. Um, an embosser, oops, this is from Derwent. Um, I use this um, to sign my work actually, so I'll impress into the paper and put the pencil over and you're embossing into the paper um, so the white of the paper shows through. You can also do this over a layer of colour and then put another layer over that but you get some really nice techniques with that. Some blending tools, I sometimes use those. 
um, a Derwent Burnisher and this is a Derwent Blender. Um, if you've got two or three colours and you can kind of, this is quite a hard, I don't actually know what it's made. I think it's just like the blend, the filler of coloured pencils without any pigment basically. So you kind of blend the colours together. Um, and likewise the burnisher, but you don't really need these. You can burnish with the coloured pencil itself. Burnishing just means when you're pressing really hard and you um, get, um, you're essentially flattening the tooth of the paper and, and it can create quite a shiny effect on the, on the surface. But it's pretty difficult to put another layer on top of that. So then you would need to use a fixative if you wanted to put more um, pencil down. And then also I'll have these other, these erasers. I use just normal erasers all the time. Um, I don't use this so much. This is by Faber Castell. It's a perfection eraser. I find it hard to sharpen this. I'm sure you probably can do it with a knife. I've tried to do it with a proper sharpener and I find it difficult, but it's, it's for erasing details. And then Derwent again, their battery operated one, which is good for details. Um, the battery you just, I'll just show you this. If I can open it. It takes um, two, I think those are, yeah, two triple A's. Um, and depending on how much you use it, it generally lasts quite a while. But this is it. This is good for charcoal, pastel, pencil, and all those things if you want to, even if you want to use this to make, go back to the white paper and have that as part of your work. That's a useful tool to have. And also, just before I finish, um, I also use these sometimes um, blender pens. There's one by Prismacolor that has a fine tip and a chisel tip and Derwent have two separate ones, one with the bigger bullet tip and then the other with a fine one and they're all um, stained but as long as you clean them after you've used them that isn't really a problem and these just have solvent in them so that you can blend your work together and it saves time. Okay thanks for watching in my next video I'm actually going to use some of these and show you what I might do with them. Okay and don't forget to um, give me a thumbs up if you find this useful and don't forget to subscribe and to see um, more of my work, you can actually go to www.judithloganart.com. Thanks for watching.